man, if you knew how good you were, if you knew how good you are, you are good. I'm here to tell you, some of you never heard it. You are good. Each and every one of you in here. Because you can't get out of the cycle that you're bad. And you feel bad. And the whole trick is to make you feel bad about you. But see, what I want to tell you, the shame that comes with that, you can never get out of. Shame is bad. Shame doesn't say you did something wrong. Because everybody does something wrong. Everybody. We're not perfect. We can't do it. But shame says you are bad. It doesn't say you did something bad. Shame says you are this. It's looking at when you turn up, when you right when you get off the computer and whatever you looked at, it says, see that? So that proves you are bad. And you know what you do? You can't get out. You cannot, if you believe you are bad, you can't break out. Because you can't go past what you believe. You got to get this. So the basis of all of this is on this. Is that you don't have any shame anymore. What happens is people to use this to manipulate you. They're like, yeah, but you know, you know, you ain't all that good. Anybody that tries to put that on you, tell them to get out your face. I'm serious. Anybody who tries to put you anything that, yeah, but look at your past. See, remember where you remember when you you tell you walk away, you leave, or you tell them to go. This is the best news you've ever heard in your life because once you understand that you're good, you act accordingly. I'm, I'm, you know what? This is the, I have to put it like this with fitness because this is what a lot of people like to hear. Of course, with men, we like to work out. I love to work out. So, but some people get out of shape and they feel bad and they say, man, you know, it's, it's, it works like shame. It's the same thing. So you, 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 it, or you, you feel like, man, I can't, I, I'm, I'm overweight, I, I feel bad. I, 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 what happens is those cycles just keep going, you feel bad. So what happens, to, so you feel better, you eat again. And then you feel bad in the gym because people are looking at you and you go, I don't look good in my pants. And I'm just, uh, and you look in the mirror and you go, man, this fat is still here. And the whole thing, and, and, and fitness is way over there. It's somewhere I gotta go. And it's, it's, too, it's um, across the country and it's so long while I give up. You know what, I'm gonna just sit down here and eat another donut. <laughs> and let me tell you, that's real. But fitness is in you. It's in, it's in you the whole time. That fit body is there. And you think it's way over there. And that's the lie. So the lie is, another guy comes in the gym, he walks in like, hey man, you can't lift that. <laughs> and he walks by and you feel shame again. But you don't let nobody do that to you. I'm here to tell you. In fitness, it's one thing that you say, you know what? I am fit. Even if you don't see it, I am fit. And you know what fit people do? Fit people go to the gym. Fit people don't eat donuts. Fit people eat protein. Our pride, it, 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 it's one of those things that activates us, you know? The pride that we have is something that could really, really hurt us. Because what happens is, as you're built up in everyone's eyes, and everyone is, is now saying you're the man, and you're this and this and this, you don't want anything to ruin that. You start to love that. Even though in your personal life, it's messed up. Even though at home, everybody knows the real you. But you keep the picture. Because now, it's not about, it's about a brand. I'm Terry Crews, the brand. I am a brand now. I am, I am an image, and I have an image to uphold. And it's really pride. It's really, I bet you won't jump off that bridge. And what happens is, it will collapse. With that image, you become better than everyone else. You are now, you're, you're floating. You're, I mean, you literally like, ah. And you're better 
than other people. And this is where you, you, you see, I've seen stars, I've seen athletes, I've seen ministers, I've seen all, all kinds of different people who literally dog out people below them because I'm better than you. <laughs> I really believe I am worth more than you. You treat everybody like that because you're better. You feel you're better. I'm worth more than you. And um, what happened is that you eventually fall. You eventually lose the job. You eventually lose your money. You eventually have to, you are going to take a loss. Now the most dangerous part about this though is because when you become your wins, when you're floating and high and all that, you inevitably have to become your losses. Ah, you have to be, if you live by those rules, you have to lose. That you don't become what you want. You become where your habits take you. Now, you have a donut, you ain't gonna get fat. But you have a hundred donuts over a course of years, you will end up fat. And you'll say, how did I get fat? Listen, it's people who want money. People say, I want money, I want money, I'm gonna go get my money, and then, but your habits don't give you any money. And man, you gotta take inventory of what you believe. And let me tell you something else, the comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most danger. You're, the comfort zone is somewhere you need to, you should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You ever, anybody ever tell you, be, hey, hey, look, you know what? Just be satisfied with what you got. Don't believe them, get them away from you. You should never be satisfied with what you got. Because the, the attempt to get more makes you into something better. All the time. Don't let anybody tell you, hey man, you know, you should just be happy with, uh, no! You should double your business. Come on. Triple it. Come on. What would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? And I've heard that a lot, and it's a great saying. What would you do if you never felt bad about anything, that you, you've lived a great, your life was perfect? What would you do? I'm here to tell you it is. Dude, I'm not, this is not a joke. I'm not making it up. I'm not here to, listen, if you don't believe me, again, I could drop the mic, boom, I'm getting the limo, I'm out. I love you. But I'm trying to tell you something that is true, and it's true for me, and it's true for you. You can get anything you want. As men, we've been too comfortable. You've been too comfortable. And you got, you got humility mixed up with fear of criticism. So you don't want to go up to your boss and, and say, I dem hey, you know what, I'm going to take this to a whole nother level. Because you, you know all other guys are going to be like, hey man, you're making us look bad. Hey man, you, you're, not, you're, you're now just doing just enough to look as good as everybody else so you can fit right on in because the other people will criticize you. Get yeah. criticized! Let me tell you something. I, listen, you are a warrior. Don't ever let anybody take what you're supposed to get. And I knew what I was supposed to get. I was there in that gym to get what I was there to get. And I don't care what you say. I don't care what you look like. I don't care how I look. It takes courage to look like a fool. It does. Let me tell you, when you're in the gym and you're out of shape, you don't look good. You don't look good. When you're learning something, when you go to school and you, they give you the grade and everybody's like, oh, he didn't do it, he didn't do good, he got a D. You, you feel that hurt and you go, yeah, what you gonna do, never take a test? No! You get back up and you get what you are supposed to get. And I wasn't letting it happen. And what I've been, people have always said, well, you know, uh, be humble, Terry, be humble. But you know what humble is? Humble is the fact that I can, I can lift all, I can lift the whole gym, but I use it to lift groceries for the little old lady. That's humility. That's humility. That you, you, you use the thing that you're strongest at to help others. That's the essence of humility. I, I walk in like, what? I run this. 
But you got to know you can do it. There was no humility. That, that doesn't work. You should go in your job like that. Not rude. Never rude. It's not rude. But let me tell you, they're going to take notice. They're going to take notice. And they're going to go, man, this dude is, he's, he's above his place. He's working, he's outworking everybody. He, in fact, he's too big for where we got it. It's just the energy that you get from that is meant to take you. The same thing that grows a flower is that same energy that you should grow your life with. If you don't grow, you're dying. You, if you do not expand your business, expand your family, expand your life, expand your mind, expand. If you don't push to grow, you're dying. And what you have will be taken.